folks, I'm Dale Fix and welcome to this live stream. For those watching later on YouTube, I'm petting my dog. <laughs> Nothing else right now. He's, uh, he's been a bit annoying. There's going to be changes. Um, you won't notice too much of it during this video, but in the future, there is definitely going to be changes uh, where I will stream more. And I'm not sure yet about episode length for you on YouTube. I'm currently at 30 minutes. If I get too much uh, backstock, then um, I backlog actually, then I will make those episodes longer or just release them more often. We are building up dilithium on our stations. We need to be looking into the anti-pirate base. My dog is also redirecting its pen, which is just lovely because he's scratching the iron on beneath, and that's what you can sometimes hear. But you you can deal with it. You can deal with it. I'm um I'm waiting for this war to be done. The Romulans have declared war together with the Serlac. It seems it's just two or three more systems, and this war is pretty much over. At least that's how I see it. Uh, the and I kind of hope that the uh, the coalition will be dissolved. I want these guys in. This would be such a useful area not to have the Sherlock corporate as well as the Romulan Star Empire um, just just meeting up and just working their way down towards me. Also, due to the update that um, Star Trek New Horizons had, the other empires are declaring more wars more often. I like that because it was such a passive game. Currently, we... I can see, okay, this was the base. I was going to try out the anti-pirating stuff. Let's take a look at the piracy, and it is a lot. So, the Bernard Star... We're going to do everything we can to deal with that. And what we can use is the trade protection over here from the shuttles. That's two. But also the torpedo launcher, trade protection. But I believe that in the facilities, there is the shuttle base, the support craft, which will also increase the protection of trade with another two shipyard capacity plus one which is interesting to me actually so far what kind of things do we want more mm, protection of range is four which is very very good trade protection 30 also very good so we have three three things oh you are so annoying today um else what else free market procedures if it is possible i want to have dilithium chambers on this i see no changes in trade protection so far naval capacity fleet academy promenade listening post so that could be the fourth one Yeah, I think it's it's going to be something like getting the upgrade final. Let's take the privateering contract. Let us take the... Where's the other one? Come on. The navigation buoys. And we will go with shuttle base. And we'll just do a lot of these. I like... To use shuttles as a sort of a bastion. Because they are very strong. So we'll have to wait until that is done. The dilithium will come back. What else do we need to do? Intel is failing. Well, it's probably because the Romulans. As well as the Sherlock's are fighting the Dalton Union. And it is unclear how much fleet they still have. Uh, so we can actually get rid of those. Let's unpause. Let's speed up the game. We'll wait until that is done. We're also annexing some of our minor factions. And hopefully, at some point, we will find ourselves at war. I didn't think the Ferengi and the Bream would go into a uh, alliance. But hey, it happened. The Dominion. Yeah, I'd say they could be very strong. 
they could be very strong, even though people on YouTube think differently about that. And I think this guy broke away. If that is true, then they aren't as strong as I think they were. The packlets well, opened up their borders. In Interesting. Value, you're done. We um, can establish an embassy right now. Uh, we could actually start building up with you. Let's go to your main planet. Yeah, which is very... I wouldn't mind getting them into the coalition because I would like to circle around the Kardashian Union. So that would be nice. Rivalry with the Benai. Oh, I think the war is done. It's about to be done then. And we have technology. We got the... Um, I so then I so dynamic warp engine sounds so damn cool, doesn't it? We can go with engineering, transporting pool uh, tools, independent, integrated, hollow matrix. I love the doctor. I really love the doctor. We can go with the pulse scans as well as the rotated shield. This is a component which will be very expensive, actually. More shield hit points. Beam weapon damage is always nice. It will definitely increase the strength of our fleet. We're going to be waiting with those. And we'll go for the cheapest tech possible, which is the Tachyon Sensors. I've never took, taken that. And I believe that there could be something interesting in here. Tracking 20, accuracy 10. That is uh, definitely interesting. Anomaly discovery chance. We won't be using that no more. Let's on pause. And we should see the dilithium flying in. In, in a matter of days. We're at 97%. So it is definitely happening soon. I'm, I'm excited. Hopefully we can find a way to get ourselves a flagship again. As you know, I've been struggling to get it. I'm not going to look into it again. It's it's just impossible. Apparently, once you lose your flagship, and this time we actually lost it due to decommissioning. Oh no, actually no, it got blown up due to a event. And you are then unable to, you know, get it back. Let us take a look. We're 39. They're not sending in any construction ship this one might be moving unknown orders if he's moving into this direction they will most likely take it i don't think i have the um, the intel yeah we need 21 more to actually claim that one system let's get rid of these and uh, you can see we're making 51 dilithium now so no more dilithium issues at least as long as the fleet is inside its, uh, its protective sphere do i want to change anything else you're building the advanced cruiser and we can get you another shipyard the i also want the dilithium being built over here but we also need the fleet academy so let's get rid of traffic control, make the dilithium. And what else did I change over here? Crew quarters, fleet academy. You know, science is nice, science is great. But we're 4K, we are in the lead of science currently. If we aren't, uh, if we are not as careful, we probably will catch up to the fallen empires. Let's get rid of this and... Let's get the dilithium post. Is there anything else we feel we need to have on this? I don't think so. Wow, shield hit points plus 40%. That would be a sick bastion. I need to remember that. As well as this one, 25%. That is a absolute... That is so much. It really is a lot. Uh, ship firing rate plus 10. Yeah, okay. Uh, we might also want to go with a warp inhibitor with our Bastion. But we know Bastions in this particular mod, they, um, they almost have no value. Let's get rid of you. Let's get the Dilithium Manufactory. Crew Quarters Fleet Academy. And this will actually push me away from research. Get the Dilithium. Okay, so that's how it is. Yeah, I felt this was going to happen. We can now build fighter wings 
on this particular station. Uh, making it more a shipyard than anything else. I kind of, I'm not too keen on that, but I'm doing this for the trade protection. And I think... Private contractors... Most likely over here. We have the naval logistics we need. We might change that. I might re-roll that station completely. But we'll see in the future. If it has any effect, then I would be cool. We got... Whoa. Tetalinta Valras, which is amazing. Let's take a look over here because we're talking about this one. So, pirate efficiency is zero, base protection is seven. Maximum piracy is 7.31. Current piracy. Okay, so we are not yet ready to deal with all the pirates in here. That's how I see it. And it looks like we finally have the new ship types. We are now having the Ecla class, the Curie, Curie class, and the Miranda class expiring, which is so sad. But I'm thinking this might be one of the uh, the final. Oh, never mind. We have the uh, the heavy escort blueprint. Let's go. Let's continue with the ships. I want to uh, have all of the ships out of this as ASAP. Let's just see what else can we do. All of these you need housing. That's done. Dilithia Manufactory, and we can go with Trade. What is your problem? Upgraded to Stark Base, interesting. Let's get you the Naval Depot. And... We need the... What do we need? We could go with Research. Orbital Science, I do like to get a bit more Unity. Luxury Hotel, no. Mm. Let me know, what do you think would be the perfect setup for a naval base? Like for a, uh, how do you call this? A naval depot station? For a, um, a shipyard or even anti-pirating station? Let me know that. Uh, and I can actually work with that in a few episodes. That would be, uh, I would really, imp I would really appreciate that. Traffic control, warp inhibitors. No, there's, there's nothing in here that actually tickles my interest apart from the Unity, which is located, I think it's a museum. There we go. Let's take that. And he's upgrading. That is so expensive. Upgrading these bases to their final design is... Uh, Incredibly expensive. Now, luckily, we do have somewhat of a stable economy now. Do we have anything I want to sell? No, that would be fine. How much could we buy for that? That's just one base. It, it's not worth it to do it like that. We'll, uh, we'll wait until we have a bit more. We can also sell a 250 of that. How much can we buy now? Yeah, that's better. That's better. It cost us about 425 to upgrade these. I think this is the final one. We already got that. Apparently, yeah, it is the final one. Let us also upgrade you. So that is also being queued. And we'll do our shipyards later. Let's see, this scientist, where are you? You're over there, not doing anything. You, you can almost get... The starbase built, meaning you, my friend, and it's good for you. I want you to go here, assist the research. Okay, the Commonwealth has asked for association status, and I will definitely agree. Hopefully, the others will do the same. If we manage to get to level 3 or 4 in the coalition, we will make sure that we have a bit more of a say in this matter. And uh, we'll have to wait for two more months. You are going to be assisting research. This scientist is gone. We have this construction ship. 
as well as this one. Let us go back over here because I noticed that we have some resources that are not being harvested. Every time I play this, I'm, I'm, I'm getting more and more excited about playing Distant Worlds Universe. Because it is such a damn good game. And they are building... Ooh. Oh, someone is about to get out of the... Uh, out of the coalition. I'm thinking, yeah. It failed. Holy crap, it failed. Wow. Okay, tough luck on you, mate. Defensive pack. Where are you? Let's see. Where's your home base? Well, we could... We could... Actually, they are very interested. We could forgive them a defensive pack, but it seems like they are not going to be around too, man too much. I say we are getting into an age of absolute violence. Let's take a look at victory conditions. Currently, we are the number one passing all of the fallen empires. So that's going to be interesting. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, okay, we'll have to see about that. Now, for those of you who don't know, we are on Grand Admiral. And we took the um, the extra difficulty option at the start. So far, I have to say, it's not been too difficult. Uh, there were some moments in the history, of course, that were kind of difficult. I don't think the fleet can upgrade all the way. We also need to look into the new fleet. Bless you. You need to sneeze, mate. Oh, my dog sneezed. It's so cute. It is so cute. Uh, we'll keep this on fast. Is there anything we change? Let's, um... It's a damn shame you can't... I wish there was a light option in here. Where you could actually just look at these designs. A bit more. Can't upgrade you. And it's all fine. Roundabout, oh yeah. I'm waiting for the Delta Flyer. <laughs> the Delta Flyer, man, which is uh, faster than light engines. They use it once, I think. So here we go, we have the um, the new Frigate 5, the Challenger. It kind of looks cool, I like that. Is there anything we want to change? Okay, let's um, keep the game just going because there's nothing that can happen that actually is going to ruin my day. Is this a good option? Advanced damage. Of average damage, not advanced damage. You nitwit. I like the additional hull damage. We kind of need those. Frigate option. Yeah, this is fine for now. We'll just leave it at that. We also have the new Orleans. Did this just change? Oh, I didn't see that. I didn't see this two nasals above there. No, actually, this is a different one. This is the Challenger. This is the uh, the Light Cruiser 7, the uh, Nigera, uh, which is definitely, look at that. It is a complete anti-missile, anti-shuttle weapon. I, it means that I don't want these. These are very long range. Uh, let's pause the game for now, actually. Let's take a look. The range is 180, and these have a range of 20. Using these torpedoes, I think, is a mistake. But that's my uh, my very unprofessional opinion. Let's go with these uh, class 10 torpedoes. And... Yeah, these are still fine. The modular phases. That's good. We got some additional health. Additional armor damage. Well... That might not be such a bad idea. But we have to be careful. Let's take a look at the upkeep. Sometimes it will cost you like one of your strategic resources. And that would be uh, quite painful if, uh, if I were to run out. Daily shield regen plus 20... Yeah, we're quite heavy on the uh, the shield tanking. Our armor death is, is, is very, very low. Let's just save you. Uh, we could probably do the same thing with you. No, we can't save you. Yeah, we changed the design. That's the whole reason. Now, here is the um, 
The New Orleans class. Oh, I love these ships. They do look absolutely great. It looks like they use some assault fighters. There's the Delta Flyer, actually. What, do I, what was I talking about? Uh, 50. Wow. Average damage is 50. 41. Is the Delta Flyer that bad? No, it isn't. It does do a lot of damage. The accuracy is... Not as good. Tracking 54, 55. The range is 10. The range is also 10. Shield, armor, evasive. Actually, why is the damage so low? I don't understand. Cooldown is 2. Cooldown is also 2. Uh, speed. Okay, this, this, this damage... It does not make sense to me. And I'm most likely misreading it. This is a unit. Is Oh, they get eight units. There's eight flyers just going out of that. That is... That's quite sick. Yeah, I can understand now that it is... Um, the damage times eight. So we have one ship that does 21 to 105. Or we can have eight ships. Uh, yeah, that's definitely better. Yeah, the assault fight wing is definitely better. Uh, looks like the range on this wave assault phaser is large. Let's close the rest. Ah, you know what? We'll, uh, we'll just leave it like this. The other designs isn't that bad. We also have the uh, the Chenay, uh, the four nasal, one of my least favorite ship types, to be honest. The damage is getting absolutely good. And we have, it's, yeah, we have this. Let's take a look. Range is 20, range is 60 and 20. I'm not sure I like the battle cruiser type. We can also make it like complete anti-shuttles. Yeah, you know, we'll probably do that. So we need weapons that have a very short range. The range is 20 on this. I like the modular types though. We can keep it the same. Cooldown is 675. Oh yeah, this is uh, 675 and this is... Yeah, the cooldown is lower. Average damage, 36. Yeah, this is way better a weapon. Uh, we'll go with the torpedoes. As for the Deleric phases. Anti-shuttle. What we need to do is give it a lot more accuracy. Uh, let's see, where are you? Okay, that's not in there. So this can just be as it is. 22,000 of shields. Damn. Tactical station. While it disperse. Shield weapon damage. Armor damage. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Let's go with this one. I think it's in here. Evasion, chance to evade. Uh, accuracy, two. Tracking, two. Chances to evade, two. I like that. Tracking is eight. Ooh. Ooh. ooh, 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 ooh. That we have nothing for... Okay, tracking is just as good. If it's twice at 16, we could never get as close with that. And the... Wow, the ship is a monster. 663 damage. Per uh, uh, cooldown. So let's say if you will overwrite that class. Uh, we're still waiting for the others one. There is the uh, the galaxy class, the one we all love. And the frigate that is out of a different era. <laughs> okay, it's fine. And there's a flagship that I'm unable to build. Yeah, we're in the latest version. 
We have a hospital ship now. Doesn't really feel very hospital-like. Would it have a uh, better shot against that? No, the hospital ship is quite capable. We'll go into the uh, the ships more detailed when we know we have the uh, the final one done. And in the... Oh, actually, no, we're looking in the wrong area. Three-year mission, let's begin it. You will build me that outpost. Let's continue. That will all be done. We have... The meters array, society research, level cap, admin, leader le Okay, we'll go with the leader level and we've got ourselves the Tachyon sensors. Bringing me with the same, well let's go with outpost building cost. Uh, guarantee has been revoked and we have a scientist leveling up. Okay, this one's now done. Uh, we could add more. It looks like the final ship is still being built. It's good. Okay, so is this war done? Yeah, it should be done. I'm wondering how much they will lose. Uh, but I, I'd say it's going to be a horrible, horrible amount. Making them a former, former shadow of their past self. They made their own mistakes. They were once uh, a member, I believe, of our coalition. They broke away or they didn't join. I chose the Ferengi above them and then the Ferengi broke away. And it looks like the Cardassians are steamrolling our neighbors. I don't like that. So let's go into one of these. Yeah, you're going to be building. That's nice. Can you build, build a meters array? Yes, you can. Oh, that's expensive. That is really expensive. But we will gain 150 naval capacity plus two star bases. Can we build multiple of those? Because that would be interesting. Okay, what's your problem? Uh, Fleet Academy. Yeah, we'll just have to wait until that is done. How is the planet doing? The planets have so many jobs, they just don't know what to do with it anymore. Uh, let's begin talk about Ascension. Let's pause here for a second. Who is it that we want? And I don't want to go with the Herogians. Uh, it's too far away, it needs to be closer. The Talaxians? Too far away. Who is the smallest in my alliance? That would be them. Who is opposed of the Klingons Mev. getting an association status? It is them as well. So well, let's go with the Nibirite alliance. We cannot do a high intensity. That is bloody, bloody annoying. How much do we need? 75. Okay, let's do low. Low for now, and we'll see in a few years how it's going. Okay, how is my shared stockpile? Is at 2,000? They're still upgrading. They're doing whatever they feel is best for them. And I'm, I'm actually quite grateful for that because we don't have too many planets right now. Eventually, there will be a time where we will fight. And we will be stuck with so many ships. So many planets, so many everything that I just don't know what to do anymore. Pop growth speed could be very interesting right now. Naval capacity 10. Feels like a repeatable. Probably isn't. Accuracy, admin cap. Well, we're not even close. Leader level guy. Let's go with the pop growth speed. That's all fine. Coalition is building up again. The president has not been us in the longest time ever. As long as we'll become it the second, we have a level 3. I'm, I'm quite keen on that. So yeah. 